Hello, everyone. My name is Nishan Shukla, Senior Director of AI at QA Wolf. Have you ever wanted to create a test without writing a single line of code? At QA Wolf, we've built an AI that can streamline and simplify test creation for our customers in a fraction of the time of using vanilla Playwright. This has proven difficult for less sophisticated AI models to achieve because, one, they don't directly produce JavaScript for testing code. You're often working in abstractions. Two, they rely on pre-existing tooling that doesn't track the same input activity like mouse movements, keyboard use, or camera feed. And three, they don't use a multi-agent system to work through complex scenarios. As part of our mission to achieve 80% test coverage, we've cracked the secret to AI-powered test maintenance and creation. Meet Ricky. They are an engineer looking for the quickest way to create a test on the Figma app. In the box on the left of the screen, you'll see Ricky running the browser automation test through a completely unmodified version of QA Wolf's new AI. As a reference, in the box in the bottom right, you'll see them using QA Wolf without the AI. On the top right, you'll see them run the same workflow using vanilla Playwright. Let's see how long it takes Ricky to finish the workflow using each method. Hello, today I'm gonna demo QA Wolf's AI-assisted test creation feature via the record workflow button. I've got a tab opened up to Figma here through this login helper I've got going, and I'm ready to get started. Check, one, two. All right, my microphone's working. Here we go. Hello, today I'm going to recreate a one test workflow for Figma regarding frames and interactions, and we will make some assertions on those interactions. All right, for the first test, I'm just going to click new design file, then I'm going to wait for a few seconds and click the title and change the title to project with a series of five random numbers. You can use Faker to generate these numbers. Then click enter. Then I'm going to click the frame button and click into the canvas at this position. Then I'm going to choose the color picker and I'm going to choose a hex code for red. Uh, FF0000 should work here. Then I'll press enter and click away to defocus. Then I'm going to create a second frame. Then I click the frames button again. Then click a different position on the canvas. Then I'm going to choose, actually generate a hex code for green here. And then once you've entered that into this form field, press enter. And then we can click away to defocus. Great, now we can move on to the act section of this flow. You'll want to double click prototype in the corner. You'll need to pass the force true parameter to the click action for this to work. Awesome. Now we're going to click the center of frame one. And then we'll click and drag from the side of frame one into the center of frame two using the drag and drop helper. Right. Then we will click away. And now we can move on to the assertions for this workflow. We're going to click the play button in the upper right hand corner. And once we do so, it's going to open up a new tab. Then we'll need to make sure this tab gets saved in a new variable so that we can make some assertions on it. And once the page is loaded, go ahead and wait for four seconds, then take a screenshot of the page to assert the center is red. Then we'll click the square and take a second screenshot. And this is going to assert that the square is green, like the hex code that we entered earlier in the flow. All right, now the video is uploaded. We'll see uploading recording in the top of the corner. And I'm going to go ahead and reset the scenario so that um, the test starts from the same position that uh, it did before we started running any videos. All right, I'm going to delete these other items here. And got some code. Looks like it's generating a few tests. I'm going to give it some feedback here. Oh, one test here. So I'm going to say create workflow with only one test. All right. Got the progress bar going. You also have this recording uh, tab up at the top. All right, the code's got generated. Let's see. This outline's looking great. Exactly what I'm looking for here. It only took me about two minutes to record this video. 
I'm just waiting for some code to get generated here. Oh, here we are. We've got... We're using a variable here. Clicks into this position. Hex code of red. Different position on the second frame. And it generated the hex code for me. Awesome. Clicking away. And we've got the force true parameter that I specified. Clicking into frame one. It looks like the right position. And this drag and drop. The offset on the X looks good. About 50 PX is just what we're looking for. And the second. Yeah, it looks like we're dropping into the, the center of the second frame as well. Clicking away. Ah, okay. This is already going to be handled by the promise all. So we'll need to remove that before we start this workflow. Waiting for timeout, screenshot, click, second screenshot. Looks great. Yeah, in general, this, this is looking like really awesome code. Um, I can only think of the, the one line there and maybe this navigation at the top of the flow are things we need to delete, but everything else is looking pretty perfect. I cleared that one. Let's see, any of these other things. Oh, this is all looking great. Mm, let's get rid of this one. Actually, want to leave that comment back in. Let me clear this here. Perfect. All right. Any last things here? This is looking good. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And running from the top, this login helper is going to take a second. I already know this one works just from having run it before, so we'll see what the rest of the code does. All right, clicks a new project. It changes the title. Oh. Looks like it set everything up awesome there. Great. And we got the two screenshots. Perfect. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I've got other projects to work on today. Let's speed this up. Let's see how these compare. Oh, cool. Nice. What would have taken almost 30 minutes with Vanilla Playwright took just six with QA Wolf AI. Let's break it down. QA Wolf AI translated Ricky's video and audio into a test plan and then test code. Why is it so powerful? We've built an evaluation framework that benchmarks our multi-agent AI on simulated environments similar to real world problems. These scenarios enable QA Wolf AI to solve complex challenges like file creation, drag and drop, and screenshot assertions. This allows us to rapidly prototype. The process of creating a workflow was as simple as Ricky recording their actions, describing the process aloud, and letting QA Wolf AI do the rest. Want to try it out? Schedule a demo at qawolf.com today.